Electromyography is the measurement of the electrical activity of the muscle. This indicates the nerve supply from the spinal cord down through the peripheral nerve to the muscle as well as the electrical signals within the muscle fibres themselves. In this example, we have a volunteer who has a needle electrode placed in one of the muscles that extend her fingers of her right hand. There is a green strap on her wrist. This is an earth strap. You can see a white cable which runs through here and attached to it is a disposable needle electrode. Normally, the neurologist would be controlling the needle. In this instance, so that you can see the needle placed in the muscle, we have simply inserted the needle and then taped the cable to her arm so it does not move. You will see while her hand is at rest and while her muscles are relaxed and still, we have a quiet electrical signal. If we ask her to activate her muscles by extending her fingers, we can see an increase in the electrical activity on our screen. When she relaxes her hand again, it goes quiet. When we are analysing these signals, we record at both low levels of activation and often slightly more. Often this requires a little bit of resistance placed against the body part. As the patient then relaxes, it quietens back down. This electrical signal is what we analyse when we look at EMG and it tells us the electrical signature of the nerve supply and the muscle.